six a game. That's sixth in the Big Eight. The leading scorer at 20 plus. Foster. Next year, these two teams will play twice in conference play in the Big 12. They'll go home and home with the South members. They'll play everybody in the North once. Four Texas schools that are coming in will be joined by Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in the South. Foster with an out front. 42-36 Oklahoma. Seven on the shot clock. No call. And Foster with a big bucket. That was great defensive rotation. Three different long boards were guarding Foster. And he just kept going and jumped straight up high and buried a shot. Well, that's good defense. Foster, seven points, seven boards for the 5'11 junior. Eight-point game. Oklahoma went on an 18-2 run to end the first half and start the second half with 10 straight points in the second half to lead it by 10 before Texas got a bucket. Now here's Alvarado. He's averaging 14 and a half a game and the leading rebounder in the SWC at 9.6. He's got four points now all in the second half. You can feel the energy going to the Texas side. Let's see if Oklahoma can answer. With Barnes out front. Kicks to Erdman. Got the three. That was sweet. Set up by Dion Barnes. Just a perfect penetration. Just took one dribble, pinched in the seam. That made Texas players react and let Erdman just sit back there. He's got 13. Perryman misses the three. Alvarado got the rebound, though. On the deck. Erdman the pickup. It has been a physical game tonight. Foster to Meyer. Back to Barnes. serious time off, but he said, just can't do it. Not going to miss the season. Perryman got the three. Hey, did you see the difference in that one? He caught that one in his rhythm. He had a rhythm. He, he took the momentum of the ball coming up off the floor and just buried it. That was the best looking shot he's, he's taken all night. He's got six on two of 12 from the three-point land, and it's a six-point game. The knockaway goes right to Miner. Now the steal by
shots. Yeah. How many do you have? How many do you put up? You got six. It took you 14. Inside, foul call. And Evans will go to the line as Perryman picks up the personal foul. 8.05 remaining. 49-43 Sooners. Oklahoma 10 and 8 trying to break out of a four game losing skid and Texas coming off the loss to now 15th rated Texas Tech by one. Come here. Kelvin Sampson saying if we pull one off, and he said if we can shoot the ball, I like how we're playing. Well, he doesn't like the turnover story tonight, but he likes the way they're shooting the ball at 17 and 33 from the floor. And at the line is Evans. They're Nine of 15 for the free throw line. This is a good looking kid for this OU basketball team. Just a freshman, six foot nine inch, 270 pounds from McKinney, Texas. Was Texas player of the year last year. A big, big time recruit for OU. Black with the rebound. Speaking of big time recruit, he was a 4A player of the year in Texas. Out of Austin Anderson. An average of eight points a game in the conference club. Inside Miner finally comes up with it for the Sooners. Yeah, Chris Clack just lost it. That was as fine a pass as you'll see. Reggie Freeman just made a beautiful bullet pass to Clack. Clack made a perfect step to the basket. I think he was surprised he was so open. He just bobbled it. Miner. Perryman going up. Kept it loose enough, and it comes off to Clack. Great effort by a Brandy Perryman. Boy, they got to go back into Alvarado. That's what he's saying, and they're saying, if you want it, go get it. And he did. <laughs> After the miss by Freeman, Alvarado retrieved. But that was an example of what we talked about earlier. Alvarado rebounds the ball. He doesn't get position. Did you see where he came from to get that rebound? I mean, he was up at the free throw line. Bad decision that time by Sonny, and Texas turns it over. The 10th turnover for Texas now. 19 for Oklahoma. And a foul call. 7.03 remaining, 49-43, and Oklahoma, the timeout call leading by six. They've kept the Texas Spurs to a minimum tonight, and they lead it by a half dozen with a timeout here in Austin. It's a good crowd on hand tonight for Oklahoma, Texas. Last time they will meet in a non-conference game, unless it's in the NCAAs, as these two go to the Big 12 next year. Oklahoma in the Big 8 now as they add the four Texas members. And it's been quite a battle here tonight with Oklahoma tied at the half and then getting 10 straight to start the second half, and they've held the lead since. It's at 6 right now and 19 on the shot clock. OU's trying to post up Erdman down low on Brandon Perriman. That's a mismatch. That's 6'2", 6'3", trying to guard an athletic 6'5", Erdman. Evans dumps too hard, and Abercrombie, they had the advantage, but he couldn't handle it. And Oklahoma's turned it over 20 times tonight. The Sooners averaging just 12 turnovers a game, forcing over 15, have turned it over 20 times this evening.
Nigel. He said, no 